Five people in Sand Springs are remembering three teenagers who were killed in a car wreck last year. The families of those teens held a vigil this evening. Two News Oklahoma's Brody Myers was there and joins us live in our studio with the story. Brody. Karen, it was one year ago today that three teens in Sand Springs were killed. Kira Sainer, Ethan Gibson, and Kylie Weaver. Ever since, Kylie Weaver's family has been trying to raise awareness around safe driving. They invited me to a vigil tonight to hear about their efforts. It's one thing when it's in your backyard. It's another thing when it's at your front door. Last year, it came to Jeannie Blatchford's front door. Her niece, Kylie Weaver, and two other Sand Springs teens were killed on this road, just east of the high school. The families of the other two children were at the vigil, but did not want to appear on camera. Blatchford says her family still has a big role, with Kylie in mind. Our job is no longer to protect her. It is to keep all of their memories flooded into people's minds. They're keeping her memory alive in different ways. First, by doing things Kylie always wanted to do, like visit museums, go to concerts, and more. In fact, Jeannie told me the family hosted a birthday party for Kylie back in January. She says they had a wonderful time. Oh, if she got something in her mind, it was happening, period. She was just that kid, but she did it. Everything that she ever did, she did it responsibly. Now, the family has political and legal action on their mind. We're going to be making a roar, like we're going to use our voices and just shake things up um, around here because we can't let this happen to other kids. She would not share the specifics of their legal battles, only to say it is ongoing. Their next court date is set for the beginning of October. She did say, if nothing else, she hopes this tragedy brings awareness to teens and parents on safe driving. I'm Brody Myers, 2 News, Oklahoma.